In this video, we are going to discuss multi-criteria decision making using the analytical hierarchy process. The best way to explain this is through an example. A hotel chain is considering hiring a business development manager and it has identified six criteria and four potential candidates. Let us now look at the HP software and how we address this particular problem. I have set up the problem already, hit continue and I've added the criteria and the candidates and when I hit continue I'm offered the judgment options, criteria judgment and candidate judgment. I hit criteria judgment and now I have a slider screen. This is a very simple process. You only have to remember two questions. Which one? How much? Which one? How much? The software presents to you two criteria in blue and in red and asks you which one is of greater significance, importance or likelihood for you. Let's say availability is more important. In that case, we move upwards towards the blue. How much more important compared to leadership? Say strong and we hit next. Salary and availability, we might say salary is more important, so we move down. Self-motivation availability, availability more important to some degree, etc. Then the next pair and we go on. Once we complete the evaluation, we move to the candidate judgment screen and here we are offered the same process we take one criterion, which is availability in this case, and compare Jane versus Kathy. The same question, which one is more important or dominant compared to the other for this criterion? So let's say Jane is more important. And once we finish the first criterion, it moves to the second criterion. And when we finish and we are provided the final result, here we have the criteria weights and we do have the candidate way and we can now look at the sensitivity analysis so once we complete the process we will see a graph like this which indicates that Mary is the preferred choice so I go to see my boss and I present this data and he says if we're willing to pay whatever it takes is Mary still your choice of course I scratch my head not knowing how to respond well, with our software, all we have to do is press one button and we see an interesting graph and I want you to pay attention to this particular chart. Right here on the left hand side, we have a band here that is the optimum band considering all six criteria. If you see Mary with 32.3 is the recommended candidate. To the right of this, we have six bands, one, two, three, four, five, six. These represent the N minus one evaluations. In other words, in each case, we have removed one criterion and run the simulation for five criteria only. For example, here we see availability has been removed. Here leadership has been removed and here salary has been removed. So if my boss says he's not concerned about salary, we obviously don't want salary in our evaluation. So we look at this particular graph and we see that if salary is not an issue, Sue is a significantly better candidate. There would have been no other way for us to conduct an evaluation instead of going through it laboriously. With this software, it's just a one button press. And this is true of any criterion that you want to exclude after the evaluation because we start with criteria with the best of interest. But once we see the evaluation, we can see if we are willing to relax and let go of some of our needs and wants. Here's another quick example. A US engineering contractor is considering opening a branch office in Asia. They considered six criteria and five candidates. As before, we have our criteria and we have our candidates. We run the software. Sydney is the preferred choice. But when we look at the N minus one analysis, we see something very interesting. Here again, we have the original evaluation and these are the sensitivities. Look right here. If bureaucracy is not an issue, New Delhi is in fact the better choice. 
So this company went on to form a joint venture with Tata Consulting because Tata knows how to navigate the bureaucratic system. They're like the Indian government. So you see the value of a software such as this. Let's consider another multi-criteria problem that many of us would face at some time in our lives. You need to find a place to move to, to retire in tranquility. How would you go about deciding on a place to live? You would probably start with a set of criteria. Here we have some criteria. You're obviously concerned about home prices. You'd like doctors, officers and surgical facilities to be close by. You're concerned about pollution for sure, including crime and risk, access to family, etc. So these are some typical criteria. I have provided here seven cities with their factual data from the internet. I've changed the names so that you would not be biased. Do you honestly believe you can assign weights using common sense and navigate through all this data and make a defensible decision? Let's not kid ourselves. We really need a technique such as the pairwise comparison technique that we offer with our software.